I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Gemini, the recent past energy between you and your person. We've got the Ace of Wands and it's with the Ten of Swords. Now the Ace of Wands, it can indicate new beginnings. Usually very positive ones. The Wands, they're in the realm of accomplishments. They could be related to work, career, and if you're having a difficult time now, just know that things are about to get better very soon. Yeah, I say very soon because if you take a look at the picture of the Ace of Wands, it's the card above the word pass. It looks like it's sitting above the clouds, but no. No, it's actually burst above the clouds really fast and powerful. So things could get better very soon. This card, it depicts being upbeat, optimistic, hopeful about your future with a really good cause. So you're likely to be feeling energetic, positive, or you'll be feeling that way soon. The Ace of Wands, it tells you that now is also a good time to start something new. Now, it's with the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is actually, it's actually a sign or a signal to be careful about where you put your trust. Your trust. When the Ten comes up in relation to a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that a situation is stable, well, as you can see by looking at the picture, it's a pretty clear answer of no. However, you have to keep in mind, whenever a door closes, another door opens, you're being guided to a situation that's better for you. So trust yourself and trust the universe. So what I'm getting to tonight, between you and your person, this recent past energy, Ace of Wands clarified by this Ten of Swords, so it looks like um, you got a new beginning with someone. And if it wasn't a new beginning, it could have been a relationship that you were in and it underwent a new beginning. Some type of fresh new start. Um, maybe the connection, it, it took off to the next level. Some type of new beginning with your person. Or maybe it was a new person. And it was positive. It was good. There could have been a lot of passion there because the Ace of Wands is about passion. It can be about passion. Um, but then things took a turn. And you no longer trust the connection. You didn't, you no longer trust the person. You could have started to feel like the connection was ruined. Or maybe you felt like it. It's a flop. It's a failure. You could have also felt like um, you were being defeated in some kind of way. Yeah, so trust became an issue with your person, with the connection. Maybe you just started to feel like the uh, you did not trust the connection it was stable. Some type of trust issues started to happen. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We got this two of wands. And it's with the king of pentacles. Now the two of wands with this card, it's important for you to keep your balance in every way that you can. Even to the mundane, boring things like eating right, getting enough rest. The two of wands, it can indicate a partnership with another person. This could be business, it could be personal, or maybe both. It does remind you to stay mindful to the give and take that's required for a successful relationship. So if things are feeling out of balance for you now, just know that they're about to get substantially better. But you have to keep your eyes on the prize. Now it's with the King of Pentacles, which speaks of authority, success, with money matters, 
maybe tradition. When the King of Pentacles appears in a reading, it's a sign that now is not a time to be a maverick. It's actually the time to follow the established way of doing things. When, when this king actually stands for a person in your life, it can refer to someone who's very masculine, could have dark hair, dark eyes, but it can go either way. If it's referring to a man in your life, just know that this is a man who you can believe in and trust. Absolutely, yes. So basically what's coming up for you and your person, Two of Wands clarified by this King of Pentacles. So yeah, like I said, um, there's some trust issues going on now with you and your person. There was a lot of passion. There was a lot of passion with this Ace of Wands. And it, it felt like a new beginning, a fresh new start maybe. But coming up, because there's trust issues, you could be thinking about someone else or maybe going towards something else because the Two of Wands it's a very interesting card in the deck. It could mean two, two paths towards a future. Maybe you've got two options. Because if you look at the picture of the Two of Wands, it's the card above the word present. This man has um, his hand tied to one wand, but his back is facing it. And then he has his body language towards the other wand, looking directly into the eyes of that one and his ankle is tied to it and he's smiling in that direction so you could feel like you're tied to something but you prefer to be somewhere else but just know that the person that you're having trust issues with this recent past energy they do want success with you they want to they want if you can believe it or not they it's shown that they want to secure it and commit it. They want to make it, maybe they want to make it more stable. Because the King of Pentacles can be about st stability. The King of Pentacles is actually a good card in the deck. The King of Pentacles makes a good father. Um, they could be career focused, secure and committed. And... This is what your person wants, deep down. Maybe you don't feel it, but that's what it's showing. But it looks like you c could be thinking of maybe someone else or something else that makes you happier. But you still feel tied to this person or to the connection. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is is we got the Ace of Cups, and it's with the Magician. Now, the Ace of Cups is very powerful. It's positive in the deck. It relates to love, happiness, and affection. Like all the Aces, it's about new beginnings. And although it usually means love, it usually means love. It can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. So things are looking up. People will respond to you with, Happiness, love, goodwill, more than usually. So you should be feeling good about life overall. It's a great time to make friends. Now it's with the Magician. The Magician is a card that signifies new beginnings, great expectations. This card reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives and in, 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 the, and in the world if we simply try. Just know that you will not have it all handed to you on a plate, but you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself. Because the magician is all about action. It's all about action, so if you do nothing, you get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, if you don't know what to do, then just do something. Because anything is better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. So yeah, Gemini, this is interesting. 
like I said, I keep, I keep looking at this Two of Wands. It's just, for some reason, my eyes keeps going in that direction. Yeah, like I said, you could have two paths towards the future. One brings you excitement. And the other, you just feel like your hand is tied to it. I'm, I'm getting a strong feeling that for a lot of you Geminis, there's somebody that's manifesting a connection with you. They can be very strategic in their planning, because that's what the magician does. Yeah, and the magician is um, it's about manifestation powers. Yeah, for a lot of you, it's this, this other option. That you're smiling and your body language is is all in that direction. Your ankle is tied to it and you're looking directly into the eyes. Somebody's manifesting a connection with some of you Geminis. Somebody wants a new beginning with you. It's not this person that you have trust issues with. No, this person, they have a lot of deep attraction for you. And I'm getting you probably feel the same way, because that's what you get with the Ace of Cups. There's a lot of warmth. A lot of warmth with whoever this other person is. Yeah, you get you get really good energy. There's good energy between the two of you. They're manifesting a connection with you, Gemini. This person really wants something to happen. Yeah. They they yeah, deep attraction, a lot of love is here. But it's not with this person that you're with. I'm getting the person that you're with, who you're having trust issues with. Um, they could be the one that you just got your hand tied to and your back is facing them. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We've got the Nine of Cups ends with the Five of Swords. Now the Nine of Cups is Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is actually one of the most uplifting, pleasant cards to receive in a reading. It's known as the Wish card. It can mean that what you're hoping for, what you're dreaming about, is most likely to be yours in a brief period of time. Now, the appearance of this card is about happiness, good things to come. It also can mean that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. And if you're asking a yes or no type of question, well, this card is the most powerful indicator of yes. Now, it's with the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords, yeah. It's about mixed feelings. Could be about life, maybe a few people or a person in particular. Don't ignore these feelings, but you want to make sure that... Um, Make sure you don't have to speak every word you're thinking and feeling either because this could ruin the very things that you want the most, such as close, intimate relationships with your friends, with your lover. It's about thinking several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know they deserve it. Yeah, you got to pick your battles when you get the Five of Swords. Yeah, Five of Swords. It's a card below the word outcome. You see how this man has two swords in his hand, in his hands, and he's got three on the ground. He'll pick them up and use them if he has to. This man, this man, he's angry. I don't know if you can see the details on his face, but if you put the screen on full, you can see how angry his face and his eyes look. Looks like he, he could naturally have smoke come out of his nose. There were people sitting there at that fire, and they got a glimpse of him, and they just all scrammed. And those wolves or dogs in front of them, they're just not getting a glimpse of him, and they're about to scram also. This man is really upset. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a couple of downloads here for this outcome. Nine of Cups, clarified by this Five of Swords. 
Yeah, so this, this person, this recent past energy, this person that you're having trust issues with, like I said, they do want success with the connection. They want to keep it going, but they're starting to feel or maybe they know that you have another option. And they could be the one that's upset here. Yeah. But then you got somebody that sees you, sees you as a wish come true with this Nine of Cups. It could be them or it could be this person that's manifesting a connection with you. Yeah, you got somebody manifesting a new beginning with you. Or somebody that just wants to be with you. Yeah. Or with this angry person, this Five of Swords... It could be your new person or this person that's manifesting a new connection with you. They could be upset that you're still, you still got your hand tied to this person that you've got trust issues with. They could be upset about it. Yeah, because it makes it more difficult for them to manifest the connection that they want with you. Because they see you as a wish come true. That's the other download that I'm getting. Yeah. Now, the Two of Cups is about trying to make a decision, so... I'm getting that you haven't made a decision yet. That's why your hand is tied and your ankle is tied. So, somebody's not happy about it. Put it that way. Somebody's really pissed. Somebody sees you as a wish come true. And wants a new beginning with you. But it looks like you're t still tied to this person that you have trust issues with. Because they want success with you too. Now, you sound, for a lot of you, Gemini's, uh, December sounds like it's a busy month for you. Yeah, good luck with making the right decision. So, Gemini, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. And again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Gemini, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass, and we'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next Gemini reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, you have to keep in mind... When you get these readings, if you're not dealing with a love interest, the other person could be a friend, could be a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. And yes, the roles, the roles can be switched. You could be them, or they could be you. Yeah, so Joe and I, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.